never heard of such a thing. In all my born days, I never heard of such a thing. It's an outrage, that's what it is. Calm yourself, Riley. Yellen won't get us anywhere. All right, Peg, let's get down to the naked facts. Two weeks ago, I came home from work and I gave you four or five dollar bills. Yes, we know that. And I said to you, Dumplin', here's twenty dollars. Go out and buy yourself a new mink fur piece. Because the rabbit in your old mink fur piece is getting bored. Yes, Daddy, I remember seeing you give Mother the money. All right, Peg, what did you do with the money when I gave it to you? I told you! I put it away here, in the cream jug. The cream jug? You mean the half and half jug. We haven't had cream in five years. <laughs> All right, Peg, you say you ain't looked in the cream jug again until this morning. Yes, and now there are only three five-dollar bills. So five dollars is missing. That's right, J. Edgar Hoover. <laughs> Daddy, are you sure you gave Mother $20? I'm positive. Well, how about that? I didn't count it. I just took your word for it. I'm positive I gave you $20. Four five-dollar bills. I never forget a face. What's that got to do with the money? Well, well, Abraham Lincoln's face is on each one of the bills. Will you stick to the subject? Yeah, stick to the subject. Where did the $5 get to? All right, Peg, let's get logical. You didn't take it, Babs didn't take it, and I didn't take it. I got it. A burglar took it. Oh, Riley, don't be silly. If a burglar did it, why didn't he take all the money? Well, maybe... Well, after all, a burglar... Maybe he thought it would put him in a higher income tax bracket. Oh, Daddy, burglars don't pay income tax. They don't. They can go to jail for that. Where did the five dollars get to? Anybody home? We're in the kitchen, Junior. Hey, maybe Junior stole it. Right. Junior wouldn't steal, and you know that. Of course not. I ain't saying he stole it. I mean, maybe he just took it when we weren't looking and forgot to tell us about it. Hi. Hiya, Junior. How's my favorite son? Okay, Pop. Say, uh, Junior, you didn't take $5 out of the cream jug, did you? Me? No, Pop. Of course he didn't. Come on, Dad. Help me get the wash off the line. Oh, okay, Mother. That's funny. I wonder where that $5 could have went to. I like to keep track of all my in-going and out-going so I can balance my books. Well, you don't keep books, Pa. Sure I do, mentally. And if five dollars is missing, I'm mentally unbalanced. <laughs> Are you sure you didn't take the money? Honest, Pop, I wouldn't steal. Certainly you wouldn't. I'm talking crazy. Why, us Riley's haven't got a crooked bone in our head. <laughs> Forget I even mentioned it. <laughs> okay, Pop, see you later. Hey, Junior, what do you got in that box? All this? Uh... Just a basketball. See you later, Pop. A basketball? Wait a minute. Let me get the feel of it. Oh, no. Boy, I haven't had a basketball in my hand since I played for NYU. NYU? Pop, you never went to college. This was the New York upholsterers. We played in the overstuffed way. <laughs> Two points. Boy, that's your good. Can I have the ball now? Boy, I used to dribble up and down the floor fast as a pussycat. Dribble puss Riley, they used to call me. Oh, give me the ball, Pop. You might bust it. This is a good ball. Brand new, too. Where'd you get it? Well, uh... It's for the Cubs game tonight. Give me the ball, Pop. Oh, the price is still on it. Price? Four ninety-five. That's almost five dollars. <laughs> five dollars, Junior. Where did you get five dollars? I I can't tell you, Pop. Junior, you took it from the cream jug. No, I didn't. Look at you, Junior. It's written all over your face, guilty. G I L T Y. No, Pop. Junior. How could you do a thing like this to us, stealing from your own family? Didn't we give you the right kind of upbringing? Didn't we sneak in the theater together to see the crime don't pay movies? <laughs> and this is how you repay me. Oh, Pop, I didn't take the money. I'm ashamed of you, Junior. And to think that at Christmas time I gave you my ruby ring that's been in the family for over a hundred years. But you, you don't deserve to wear it. Pop, will you listen? I've listened to all I'm going to listen to. You might be the black sheep in this family, but you're not pulling the wool over my eyes. Now, go to your room and stay there. Look, Pop, whatever you decide to do to me... I've room... already decided what to do with you. As soon as I talk it over with your mother. Peg! Peg, come here, quick! What is... what's happened? I have some bad news for you. About your son. My son? Yes, your son. I'm resigning as his father. He's a thief. Junior? Yes, Junior. You stop yelling. I don't want your friend Gillis next door to know all our business. Junior's a thief. Oh, I just don't believe it. Did Junior say he took the five dollars? Not in those words he didn't, but I know he did. Ah, uh, how do you know? It's my female intuition. <laughs> I've been like a mother to that boy. Who's that? James Madison Gillis, in person. Your friend Gillis, he walks in just as if he owns the place. Hi, one and all. 
Hiya, Riley. Good to see you, pal. What's Good all this shaking hands? You worked together all day. You came home 20 minutes ago. 20 minutes away from my best pal is like 20 years. <laughs> Look, Ellis, we're friends and all that, but there's such a thing as taking advantage. You walk in here like you own the place. Ain't he a riot? You walk in like you own the place. Here's a letter from the bank. Looks like you're a little late with the mortgage money again. <laughs> Where'd you get our mail? <laughs> from your mailbox. Where else? You certainly got a nerve going into our mailbox. Now, wait a minute. I ain't the type walks in the mailbox without a good reason. I'm following a serial story in the Saturday Evening Post, which you get every Tuesday. Oh, oh, <laughs> you see, Peg, you had Gillis all wrong. Oh, I apologize. Accept it. You see, <laughs> Peg's a little upset on account of we just found out that Junior... Riley, <laughs> there are some things that are private matters. We'll finish this discussion later when Mr. Gillis leaves. Which I will do pronto. As soon as I get even with Riley from last night. After you, Alphonse. Okay, but just one game. I don't feel like playing. The house must be tilted. <laughs> you know, I, I'd like to tell you, Gillis, but Peg would get mad. Okay, forget it. Your wife's a citizen. She's entitled to her family secrets. But believe me, Riley, it's breaking my heart when your only son is a thief. Gillis, you heard. An accident. Purely an accident. When I was standing at the mailbox, my ears happened to be pointing in this direction. <laughs> My shot. <laughs> Must be that California smog. <laughs> you know, Junior ain't really a thief. He's a good kid, spoken like a loyal father. Giving the kid the best of it. Believe me, Riley, no one can ever blame you when Junior turns out to be a criminal. You know, Junior's really not a criminal. After all, it was only five dollars. Only five dollars? Yesterday it was Swedbank. Today it's five dollars. Tomorrow the First National Bank. Don't you see, Riley? This thing has got to be put a stop to be put. <laughs> My shot. <laughs> Scratched. Yeah, I guess maybe you're right. Sure, I'm right. But what can I do about it? Do your maternal duty. Give the kid a spanking. A spanking? Yeah, you gotta get to the bottom of this thing. Gee, a spanking, I couldn't do that. You gotta force yourself. When I was a kid and I done something wrong, I got a spanking. From your father? No. Your mother? No, my sister. Your father and mother were cowards. You don't lose any time. Cure that kid before it's too late. Did Gillis leave? Yeah. Peg, there's only one thing to do. I'm gonna give Junior a licking. A licking? That's what I said, I'm gonna give him a licking. But Daddy, Junior's a big boy now. Oh, don't worry, I can protect myself. I'll let you kill it, his idea. It ain't not. I know how to bring up my son. He's gotta be punished. Well, Riley, I'm for discipline when it's necessary, but we can't be absolutely sure he took the money, didn't admit it. I'm positive he took the money. Guilty was written all over his face. Oh, how do you know? I can read, can I? <laughs> he needs a good old-fashioned spanking, and he's gonna get oh, it. Oh, Riley, you're a little bit excited. You don't... Now, look, Peg, no arguments. I know how to bring up my son. Well, he's my boy as much as he is yours. Okay, then I'll lick my hair. Well, I think he should be given a fair trial. <laughs> None of that radical talk out of you just because you go to high school. Look here, if you don't want to do something you're going to be sorry for, why don't you just give him a good talking to? After all, it was only five dollars. After all, it was only five dollars. Yesterday it was cookies. Today it's five dollars. Tomorrow it'll be Fort Knox. Don't you see, Peg? This thing's got to be snipped in the bud. Yeah, I guess you're right. Certainly. I am? <laughs> well, you see it that way. Riley, what are you doing? Can't you see him? Taking off my belt. You think it's best to do with a belt? It's the only way. Oh, but Riley, a belt? Yeah, I know, Peg. I feel the same way about it you do. To think only a few years ago, he was only a little baby. <laughs> I'm through carrying this thing. Uh, this is one of the worst features of being a father. Oh, Peg, why did you have to propose marriage to me anyway? <laughs> duty is duty, and no matter how unpleasant it is, it's got to be done. Yep, I guess you're right. All right, Peg, you do it. Me? <laughs> now, Peg, you got to be strong. Don't be weak. You do it, and I'll cook the dinner. Why don't you be strong? This is your idea all along. You're the one that's getting soft-hearted. Peg, I can't use my belt on him because... 
Well, because... Because what? Well, who's going to hold up my pants? <laughs> I'm certainly not going to. Well, then who's going to cook the dinner? I will, as usual. Okay, thank you. I'll do it. I started this thing, and I'll see it through to the end. I've come to give you your punishment. <laughs> well, Junior, I'm giving you your last chance. Are you going to confess you took the money? I didn't take it. Okay. You're going to get a licking. Bend over. All right. You know I'm right-handed. <laughs> I'm giving you your last chance. Are you going to confess? No. Okay? That settles it. No more talk. Bend over. I'm bending over. Sonia, I'm giving you your last chance. Are you going to confess you took the money? Come on, Junior. Cooperate. I told you I didn't. Okay? That settles it. I'm not the type to shilly-shally, you know. <laughs> this is the end. End over. I mean, bend over. <laughs> All right. Get it over with. <laughs> well, might as well get it over with. <laughs> Why don't you say something? What do you want me to say? Anything, Sonny. As long as you make me mad. <laughs> I got nothing to say. Trying to brace it out, huh? Okay? That settles it. You better hold on to something. This is gonna hurt. Here it comes. <laughs> and let that be a lesson. Get off, huh? Shh, people and everybody in on our private business. And don't think I'm getting soft-hearted either. The only reason I stopped is, well, on account of my job. Huh? You know, they don't pay me nearly what I'm worth down there. <laughs> You know, with prices so high, and especially clothing. If I gave you the licking that you deserve, I'd wear out the seat of your pants. So, uh, I'm postponing your licking until I get a raise. So I can buy you a new pair of pants. That's okay with me, Pop. But don't think I'm not gonna punish you. You're not playing basketball tonight. Oh, no, Pop, I gotta play tonight. It's for the championship. No basketball tonight, and no basketball for the rest of the season. I'll do anything you say, Pop, but please let me play tonight. Please, just tonight. My foot is put down and my head's made up. And if you ever do another thing like this to me again, you and me are through. Now put that in your pipe and smoke. <laughs> and don't ever let me catch you smoking. <laughs> Daddy, couldn't you start his punishment tomorrow? I said no. No basketball until he pays back the five dollars he took. A debt is a debt, and I have no respect for anyone who don't pay their debts. You owe the bank fifty dollars for three months? That don't count. I'm talking about human beings, not banks. Well, if you could start his punishment tomorrow. Oh, let him play tonight. The gaming so much to him. I said no, and I mean no. You'll understand better what I'm trying to do when you become a father. I mean, when you... Oh, never mind. Poor kid. He has a date to take his girlfriend to watch him play. Now I'll have to stand her up. It's just that you have to know how to bring up your son. Gotta make him mark the toe. Toe the mark. <laughs> Gotta show him who's boss, who's the head of the family. What's the matter? What are you looking at me like that for? Gee, you'd think I was a murderer. Go on, I'm a murderer. Give me the chair. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, sit down. Uh, you're all against me just because I'm trying to do my duty as a father. Oh, we're not against you. The trouble is you're all spoiled. You think a father has no other rights besides coming home with his pay envelope and carrying out the garbage. 
Oh, of course you got rights, only the way you're carrying on. You're going to be glad I did this someday, Peg. And Junior's going to thank me. If he ever talks to me again. <laughs> Gee, do you think I like being tough on him? I'd rather die. Pete, let's not talk shop. Who's that? <laughs> he died. Dick B. Odell, the friend, the undertaker. <laughs> Good evening, Mr. O'Dell. Hi, Digger. Greetings, all. You're looking fine. Very natural. Well, we're not feeling so fine. We got troubles. Riley, I don't think we ought to bother Mr. O'Dell with our troubles. Will you excuse me, please? Toddle along, dear child. I know all about your problems. In fact, that's why I came over. To be with you in this hour of need. How could you know? I bet you that big mouth Gillis told you. Oh, no. Your dear crony Gillis and I have not discussed your difficulties. But every good undertaker has his ear to the ground. We pick up a lot of dirt that way. And just today, I dug up something. I have it with me. Can you identify this ring? That's my ring. That's my family ring. I gave it to Junior. Where did you get it? In Dubbin's pawn shop. It has been pawned for five dollars. I knew you'd never part with this unless you were in dire straits. So I redeemed it. Why didn't you tell me you were in such a deep hole? I'd have been glad to cover you. I'm not broke, Digger. I didn't pawn this. Junior must have pawned it. Your son. It's not one thing, it's another. I owe you five dollars, Digger. Ah, yes. Boys can be a problem. Yesterday, a contingent of hoodlums stole a sign from a drugstore and hung it on the door of my business establishment. Oh, I was mortified. Why? What does the sign say? If not completely satisfied, return the empty box. <laughs> Glad things aren't as black as I thought. Cheerio. I'd better be shoveling off. <laughs> Why don't you say something? I don't know what to say. First he steals five dollars. But he couldn't pawn that. Now he's hocking the family jewels. He's disgraced us. Wait a minute. Gee, how could he do a thing like this to us? Pawning the family jewels for a measly five bucks. He ain't even smart. When I was a kid, I used to get seven. Now, wait a minute. Junior got $5 for this ring? Yeah. Well, there's something funny about all this. The basketball costs $5. He got $5 for the ring. What does he have to go to the cream jug for $5 for? Riley, are you sure you gave me four $5 bills? Sure, I'm sure. Maybe you lost a bill or dropped it on the floor or something. Peg, I remember it perfectly. Just as if it happened yesterday. I had the same pants on I have on now. I had four $5 bills in a little change pocket so I wouldn't lose it. I took my two fingers. I stuck it into the change pocket and I... Oh, hey, nothing, nothing. Don't you say nothing to me. I saw something green. No, what was it? It's a little piece of lettuce. I couldn't finish my lunch. <laughs> it's a five-dollar bill. So you had it all along, and you accused Junior of stealing. Now, wait a minute, Peg. There's a lot of five-dollar bills. The Mint's having a big year. They're making a lot of money. This is the same five-dollar bill you accused Junior of stealing. You might as well admit it. Yeah, I guess it is. What a revolting development this is. <laughs> I said he didn't take it, but you wouldn't believe me. No, no, you had to go ahead, call him a thief, ruin his basketball game. I'm a failure. I'm a failure as a father. Well, do something. I'm a problem parent. Junior. Junior, darling. Yes? Come here, quick. Yes, father? Stop calling me father. I'm married to your mother and your pop. Your problem, pop. Junior, we know you didn't take the five dollars out of the cream jug. You do? <laughs> Gee, that's great. But we still don't know why you pawned this ring. Oh, well... Well, tell us, Junior. Come on. The truth now, Junior. Well, I'm treasurer of our club, and we saved five bucks to buy a new basketball, and I lost the money. I was afraid they'd get sore, so I pawned the ring. I'm sorry. Well, why didn't you tell me about it? Oh, I don't... Oh, well, I guess he knew how much the ring meant to you, and he didn't want to hurt your feelings. Isn't that so, Junior? Yeah. I see. Well, do you see what kind of a son you've got, Riley? And you accused him of being a thief. Junior, I beat. <laughs> hey, Gillis, what do you know? How should I know? 
I ain't the type that mixes in the family matters. But I knew all along that Junior was innocent. Oh, then you heard. An accident. I just happened to be relaxing in your kitchen. <laughs> and you wanted to spank him yet. Beast. I know, Junior. But I'll make it up to you. Forget it, Pop. Pop. No, I'm not going to forget it. I'm going to make it up to you. I got it. I'll buy you a lawnmower. Oh, let's just be lessons with you. When you got money, take care of it. Don't lose it. I was careful. I had it in the pocket in my other pants. It's got a little watch pocket just like this one. Look at here. Oh, 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 oh you're fine. Boy, oh, yeah, am I glad that's so oh, What are we doing? Oh, now you can play basketball. Oh, yeah. Oh, Never mind the basketball, Junior. Would you like to shoot a little pool? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Who are you calling, Daddy? I'm calling Digger. Dig me Odell at your service. Home of the original Odell layaway plan. Hiya, Digger. This is Riley. Oh, a social call. <laughs> hey, Digger, guess what? I just found out Junior ain't a thief. Bully for you. And I'm proud to say that at no time did I doubt his honesty. Well, that's fine, right? As we say in my business, all's well that ends. <laughs> Good Hello, Junior. I'll take care of that for you. And I'll take care of that for you. Now, uh, Mrs. Riley, uh, you shoot pool? Gillis. I'll play a pool. My shot. 